Okay, let's talk about this shit. No, they're ignorant. That's ignorant. All right, guys, welcome back to more ignorance in basketball now. Yes, you can see my face this video. There's no Devin Booker highlights. We're not seeing DeAndre Ayton getting drafted for the 15th time. I figured with how important that last game was, and this video is the least I could do, is turn the face cam on. I apologize for the quality. Usually it's for Twitch. And, you know, the box is smaller and shit, so it is what it is. We're working with what we have right now. Also, for those of you who are going to say, holy shit, bro, I thought you were white. I don't want to hear that. I don't know what you people think I do with that information, but all it does is annoy me and make me like you less. It's basically saying all black people talk the same, right? No, we're in America. Some people sound different than other people. That's just how it works. But this video is not about that. It's about the Suns. Now, I took I took a day because I was fucking pissed after that game. If you weren't on the Discord, I just went on like a 40 minute 40 minute rant just bitching about Chris Paul. And I was like, does anybody want to hear this? It's not positive. I know we're all hurting. And you know, like the last video, I try to come in with some positivity, give my insight. But honestly, guys, I got nothing positive to say. Well, okay, a couple positive things. One, I don't think the series is over. I don't think we need to start freaking out and panicking and shit. They can win these two games. Because the last two games, I didn't see the Suns. They weren't moving the ball. Chris Paul was fucking terrible. I'll get into that. Aiden really wasn't putting his imprint on the game. I don't think... Actually, I think Mikhail and Crowder, I think they did well, but... The team is undersized, so it's just kind of tough. But my biggest fucking thing is still Chris Paul. Game three, I'll give it to you. Scott Foster, awful ref. We all know it. Even if you're a Bucks fan, you know what I'm talking about. The motherfucker's terrible. I'll give you that. Game four, worst game of your career. Awful. What do you have, like 10 points, five turnovers? Motherfucker was god awful but i said hey he's not gonna do that two times in a row he knows the importance of these games and like devin booker showed up after his shitty game chris paul will do the same i didn't think he was gonna drop 40 but he would do the same and he had 20 and 10 some people may say that was good but here's the thing every single person damn near was saying get chris paul off the court he looks scared he looks nervous he looks like a bitch out here. And I'm like, you know what? You're fucking right. I can't even defend it. I can't defend it. This is the biggest moment of your life, right? You've wanted a championship more than you fucking wanted water for like 15 years. This is your chance. Here it is. The Bucks aren't that good of a team, let's be real. This is your team to be. And you let Drew Holiday outplay you. In multiple games, Drew Holiday has outplayed Chris Paul. To me, that is fucking unacceptable. Unaccept like I have no words for that. This motherfucker, Chris Paul, didn't look for his shot for the first 45 minutes of the game. Literally. How am I supposed to defend this shitty, weak behavior? He looked like Paul George in the fourth quarter every single moment of the game except for basically when it was realistically out of reach i like that they went on a run late didn't close it out again you guys know i'm so against the fucking devin booker isos i don't know why it's still a thing you have 28 29 basically seconds left call a timeout and get a two for one that's just makes the most sense to me right run a fucking play try to get a shot off with a second or two left, you have shooters all over the fucking place. Then boom, if that doesn't work, you got time to make it work. 
I don't get the fucking logic here that, oh yeah, just let Devin Booker slowly dribble it up and turn the fucking ball over. It doesn't work. He, like, he had Giannis, P.J. Tucker, and Drew Holiday all surrounding him. You think he's going to fucking score? Hell no. This He didn't even have a chance. I can't blame Devin. He just didn't. That was not a recipe for success. And it hasn't been all season long. It's like we see it. People have been saying that all season. Why don't you see it? I don't understand. I get it. You have a bunch of other shit to, on your plate. But motherfuckers who just watch the game shouldn't know what's best for the team over you. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. So it was just frustrating. But again, I don't blame Devin. I know DA got blocked and he fucking keeps dropping the ball and shit. I don't blame him. He's exceeded expectations all playoffs. I think Crowder played well. He showed up for sure. Mikhail's doing his thing. Chris Paul, it's your fault. I'm going to play this clip and this just says everything. You weren't happy with those five turnovers you had. Yeah. I know your scoring has dipped in every game of this series. What have you looked at as what you think the issue is and how are you going to fix it? Um, I mean, I looked at all different types of things, but for me, um, scoring isn't everything. You can make an imprint on the game in different ways, but... Bruh, it's 2021, not fucking 1965. Bob Cousy is nowhere to be found. Nobody wants to hear that shit. You are 5'10". You are not going to affect the game getting 15 rebounds. You're not going to get a bunch of steals. You're too short to lock anybody up. You need to score the ball. The reason you dedicated your fucking career damn near to the mid-range is because nobody really guards that, right? You set a pick and roll, boom, you get to the mid-range. They can't do shit to stop you. Why aren't you doing that? Devin Booker is not going to win you a championship by himself. You look complete. You look like if somebody just took me and's like, "You're gonna play in the finals," I'd be just like, "Uh, what?" That's what you look like. You look scared as shit. Anytime you set a pick and roll, you would just pick up your fucking dribble. You weren't looking for your shot. You were not being aggressive at all. And again, the fact that you let Drew Holiday, who's a good point guard, solid, but when's the last time he made a fucking All Star appearance? I think it was with the 76ers. Most people watching this don't even know he played for that team. And I don't even know if he got a fucking all-star appearance that year. I'm just guessing. But I'm like, this is... If it was Steph Curry, sure. Steph Curry drops 40 points. Not much you can do about that. Damian Lillard, okay. But Drew Holiday, you're going to let him outscore you. Over and over and over again. Like, why are you here? What the fuck? What are you here for? To lead? That's cute. But leadership isn't going to get the fucking ball in the basket. It's not that difficult to understand. It's not rocket science, as my mom loves to say. Get the fucking job done. Because this goofy shit you're doing is pathetic. And this is coming from a longtime Chris Paul fan. When we were watching you in the Discord, and this is the reality, and let's be real, anybody watching the games with me in Discord is a diehard Suns fan. They said, take Chris Paul out of the fucking game. He looks scared. Put Cameron Payne in. This is who you've become. A guy who was out of the league a year ago. They want him in over you. Hall of Famer. What the fuck are you doing? You look ridiculous. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Guys, I don't know what else to say. I don't blame anybody. Sure, there were little things that fucked up the game, like the timeout and the turnovers from Book and DA and all that shit. I've been bitching about this shit all season. It's not going to change. Devin Booker, I don't blame him. He should be attacking. That's what he's here to do. You're a scorer. You should be trying to score. At least he's putting up shots. I respect that. Make or miss, I respect that. He's looking, he's being aggressive. But what Chris Paul is doing, passing up open shots and shit, no. That, you look fucking crazy. We had Mikael Bridges taking three-point shots off the dribble. The Bucks basically had to get on their hands and knees and beg you to shoot a three. And you made it. 
I was thinking, oh, maybe it's his wrist. Maybe that's what the turnovers are all about. Maybe that's why he's not looking for a shot. No, because those last three minutes, you looked like yourself. I just don't understand why you would wait in the most important game of your fucking life. You would wait for the last three minutes to look like yourself. There's no logic there. No fucking logic there. Last quarter, maybe. Sure. I think you need to be aggressive damn near the whole fucking game, but especially the second half. But the shit I saw last game was not muy bien. And again, guys, I don't need to go over the stats. Everything was pretty even. I think that was the game, and that could be the series. If he doesn't fix that, I think it's over tomorrow. I really do. Or today, depending on when I post this shit. But I hope that's not the case, because the the Suns are more than capable of winning. But the shit I'm seeing from Chris Paul, it's not looking good. It's not. If he keeps that stupid fucking mentality that he told Rachel Nichols, if he keeps that dumb shit in his head, it's over. If you if you think you can win by scoring fucking 15 points a game, you are wrong. You will lose. This is not the regular season. They're taking away threes. They're taking away layups. This is what you do, right? That's what Drew Holiday was doing. He was busting everybody's ass with the mid-range game. Why aren't you doing that? I don't understand. So... I don't know, guys. May, I, do you even want him back? If he's doing this shit, would you want that back? Because I said this year, I thought the West was going to be weak. Looks like I was right. Next year is, we don't know what the fuck the West is going to look like. Damian Lillard might be with the Lakers. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good for Phoenix. Let's be real. So... Uh, and again, we don't even know what Golden State's going to look like. They're, I'm sure they're going to make a move. Pretty fucking hard to guard that Steph Curry guy, so I don't know. I'm not feeling great, honestly. Like I said, it's very possible. They really just need to tweak one thing. I think everybody else is doing a pretty good job. I got a lot of respect for Booker. At least he's fucking showing heart and trying. The turnover was bad, but like I said, he wasn't. That was not a recipe for success. Just give it to Devin and hope he, it works. No. They have some of the best perimeter defenders in the league on this team. It's not a shock to me that it it was ugly. So that's it. I'm not going to Stephen A. Smith this and say the same thing 15 different ways. I'll keep this video short. I'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully on Discord. Ugh, it's going to be an intense game. <laughs> you know, so I'll see you guys there. Peace. You suck, nigga!